just did 10 hours from Sydney to Xi'an. We're gonna head out to Beijing to spend a few days there. It's gonna be a full day jumping from airplane to airplane. How fun. Yeehaw! All right, ready to go to the hotel. Everybody's rested, had a good night's sleep, and now we came to the center of Beijing. This is the proper capital structure. Uh, we're gonna check out Forbidden City, we're gonna check out the palace, the biggest structure in the world, 9,999 rooms, one room away from the divine number of 10,000. I think we're gonna have a great time, but it's super, super cold. We were not expecting this. After the Forbidden City, we came to uh, a temple up in the mountain to check it out from above. But it's so freezing, I cannot feel my fingers and I press them. But the views are amazing. You need to dedicate a few days to Beijing just to admire all the buildings and uh, all the history. This is the Tiananmen Square. It's a pretty impressive space. China is one of the few countries in the world that has a proper size capital. And this square shows exactly that. Beautiful capital with massive buildings because it is a massive country. Today is the Great Wall Day. We took an early car ride to the Great Wall. So we're gonna take a cable car, go the easy route up, and try to get some amazing footage up there. This is one of the greatest feats of mankind. We're excited. Tunnel to get to the Great Wall. You can tell by these tunnels that this usually has a lot of people. We are kind of lucky that we came here on a Saturday morning and it's pretty empty. One of the reasons is it's minus 15 degrees outside, so nobody really wants to go to the mountains and climb stairs in these temperatures. Here we are. Without a doubt, this wall is one of the greatest feats of mankind. It's, it's just incredible, like the images you get from up here, they're just amazing. But one, one hour drive away from Beijing, it's not that far, it's, it's a must do if you come to Beijing.
I'm gonna take a couple of pictures with my dad and just leave. This is, this is quite an experience. You need to do this once at least, once in your lifetime. Beijing has lots to see. You must go to the Great Wall. You must check out the Forbidden City and also the Olympic Stadium. If you have a chance, take a walk around because these buildings are impressive and they show the technological advances that are being made in China. And that's it. Five days travel from Shanghai to Sydney, back to Xi'an and back to Beijing and now Shanghai again tomorrow. Hello, sweetheart. Hello. Hello. This wind really drops temperature at least 10 degrees. I cannot feel my my chin. My tongue is sleepy. This is tough. It's a great exercise. I don't know how many steps they have here, but this beats any step master.